Okay, the ICOM 7300 has new firmware as of 11.22.23. We are now on version 1.42. Here's a list of the changes as published on the ICOM Japan website. The firmware is only available on the ICOM Japan website presently. As I'm making this video, I'm sure it'll work its way over to the U.S. Uh, website soon, probably after the holiday. But uh, like I said, it's version 1.42. Here are your changes. It looks like a lot of them have to do with, uh, I guess, anticipation of the new uh, amplifier, the ICPW2, going to be released by ICOM, I would assume, pretty soon. That's probably why they're pushing out this uh, firmware upgrade. Uh, you can see right here, it says support force tune operation in conjunction with the PW2. Okay. Supports transmission interlock control. We'll get into that in a second. Very interesting. Something we've been wanting for a while. Uh, down here at the bottom, the only other one I can see is uh, you can kind of do a three-finger salute uh, without having to go through the panel as far as resets go. Um, I guess this is if your radio locks up and, you know, the, the, the screen on the front's locked up, you can't really do a reset without going in the radio and hitting the button. But uh, you can now hit uh, hold down the clear, uh, the... Uh, VFO memory button and the power button at the same time, and it will do a, a hard reset externally. So those two are there. That's one of the big changes on here. And of course, down there at the bottom, another it says other minor changes. You know, that can include a lot of stuff, maybe some stuff that ICOM really doesn't want released, you know, fixing some of their mess ups or something. But anyway, uh, let's talk about the uh, transmission interlock control. I've been playing with that, trying to get that, that going. So what I did is I went over to the ICOM Japan website and I downloaded the firmware uh, release notes. Of course, they're in Japanese and my Japanese it just isn't that good these days. But uh, you'll notice down here, there's a new uh, CIV or CI5, whatever you say, command down here. And it's uh, 1666, either 00 or 01. And it says transmit inhibit. And I said, aha. Uh -huh. So... And then there's kind of a screen down here, and you'll see below the TX, there's an inhibit sign. So I just kind of assume that that's what that was for, and I guess that's going to be used in conjunction, like I said, with the PW2. But there is a way to toggle it, and I'll show you how you do that. This is going to be really a really good feature for people that are running uh, separate transmitter and receivers. Um, there was always a problem that, uh, you know, keeping this radio from transmitting if you're using it just as a receiver. Now you can do that. So let me show you how I, how I did it. There's a program called Commander. It's been around a long time. It's basically just a rig control program, but it's got a unique feature in that you can send it kind of send it raw uh, CIV commands. And uh, you'll see that we're on 18.16 here, 18.16 if I move the VFO, just like any other rig control program. But this program's unique in that it has, if you go down here under the configure, and under here where it says initial command sequence edit, that gives you this screen. I've already entered the, the command, but long story short, you can enter commands here in the CIV format, which if you're interested, if you go to the ICOM 7300 advanced manual, it gives you all the commands right here. I'm not going to go over that. Uh, you know, you can follow up that on, uh, on your own, but... Uh, this, this row 16 is what we're concerned with. You'll see we have 16. It starts with 0, 02, goes down to 48. It continues on the next page, goes down, and we end at 65. But, like I said, ICOM added 66 there, see? And we're only at 65. So they added a command. And the command, like I said, was, okay, you got 16. That's the main command. 66 whoop, is the subcommand. And then 00, 00 turns it off, and 01 turns it on. So let's go over here to our commander program. I've got it labeled as test, but it really should be uh, TX inhibit, but I'm just... Now, I, I found this command online. It's a little confusing, but uh, you'll you'll get the the gist of it. If I go over here, and from the one, 
to that zero right there, are, oh, dang it, is the command. So you've got one six is the main command, six six is a subcommand, and zero zero is what toggles it. So one six 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 zero zero turns it off, one six 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 zero one turns it on. So zero zero should turn it off. So if we go over here, we hit this run button you'll see that nothing happens because it's already off, right? So now let's go over here and let's change this last digit from zero, zero to zero, one. And if we look over here, I'm gonna hit the run button again. It turns on the inhibit. And with the inhibit, the radio will not transmit. And that's been a feature this radio's been missing for a, long, for a while. We certainly weren't expecting it, I didn't think, but uh, it's good that they put it in there. And again, it's not accessible from the menus, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, you know, if you're a developer or whatever, maybe we can make a program, somebody can come up with a smarter than me, can make a simple program that can uh, you know, toggle that on and off. And it does not survive, I don't know if I mentioned this, it does not survive a power cycle. In fact, I'll show you. You can see it's version 1.42. See, now we're back to transmit again. So that is that. That's the only other feature I can find unless there's something else hidden in there somewhere. But I thought it was a neat feature. It's something, we, like I said, we people have been wanting for a while. Um, you can hook these radios up in tandem with uh, other ICOM radios or another 7300. In other words, you can use it as a dedicated, one of them as a dedicated transmitter. One... Uh, as a dedicated, uh, well, you know, a transmitter receiver, two separate radios. And if you link them through that remote uh, port in the back, they'll, they'll mirror each other. So when you turn this VFO, um, you know, control both VFOs. But it was always a problem because when you transmit it on one, it would, it would cause the other one to, to transmit too. So that's that. I think that's the, uh, that's it for version 1.42, unless, you know, what do they mean by other features? Who knows? One thing I did notice, and I don't know, because I didn't test it before, but the IP Plus, I don't remember this making, doing anything before. I don't remember, you know, an increase in static or decrease, decrease was, would work. If someone, before you upgrade, if you'll just, I'm just curious if, because I remember this thing, it didn't really seem like it did anything at all. But maybe, maybe they change, tweak something, increase the algorithm. I don't know. Anyway, that's uh, version 1.42. 73.